popping up. Um, all right, so let me greet everybody again. All right, this is Apostle Dewan in Jacksonville from Global Prophetic Life Training and Worship Embassy. We want to welcome you to our uh, Pursuing God uh, prayer call uh, this morning, uh, Wednesday, as we are just obeying the word of the Lord from um, – the word of the Lord that was released this month, which is Pursue God. Uh, there's a link on YouTube and on Facebook. Just look up the word of the Lord for this week or even in our um, website, globalpropheticinstitute.com. If you go on our uh, daily word, you can see and hear the word there. Um, again, it's just pursuing God uh, this month as we prepare to move into prophetic convocation next month, uh, where our theme is pursuing prophetic legacy. All right. So we want to welcome all you guys here uh, this morning, wherever you are in from uh, the world and uh, locally, globally, what have you. So I'm going to toss to Prophet Anita. Uh, she's going to start us off in prayer, and then I will close us out. We're really only going to be here about 30 minutes right now every Wednesday. We'll let you know if it moves into something different. All right. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we honor you on this morning. We thank you and we praise you for your love and your kindness. We thank you for this moment to worship you, oh God. We thank you for this moment to shabak you. We thank you for this moment to call on your name, to decree your word, oh God. We thank you for the pursuit of you, oh Lord, because you said in your word that you are a rewarder to those that diligently seek you, oh Lord. So we thank you for a diligence in our seek, oh God, that we're not up and down but we are continuous, O oh Lord, because we know in our pursuit, in our radical pursuit of you, we shall find you, O oh God. We are setting our heart and our soul to seek you, O oh Lord. We are setting it in such a way, Lord, that it brings about humility, O oh God. It brings about a manifestation of your promises, O oh Lord. According to your word, Lord, you said if you seek you, if we sought you, we shall find you, O oh Lord. If we seek you with all of our heart, soul, Lord, so we put everything within in us, O oh God, and we turn it towards heaven. David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. So we recognize that our help cometh from you, O oh God. We recognize that our strength cometh from you, O oh God. So we pursue you like never before, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that your strength is with us, O oh Lord. For we understand, Lord, it is in our seek, Lord, and it's in our pursuit of you that things shall begin to shift and things shall begin to manifest, O oh God, and things shall begin to change, oh God. It's in our pursuit of you, oh God. It's in our will, oh Lord, to bring it subjected to your will, oh God. So we're crying out to you, oh God. We're shabaking you, oh Lord. We're aligning ourselves with your word, oh God, to bring about greater manifestation, oh Lord, greater manifestation of obedience, oh God, greater manifestation of love, God, greater manifestation of alignment, oh God. So we thank you, oh Lord, that our feet, Lord, are shot with the preparations of your word, O oh God. We thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, O oh God. And you will order our footsteps according unto your word. We say let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, O oh God. So we thank you for a mind that is being transformed, a mind that is being geared to pursue, a heart that is being geared to pursue, O oh God. That you're teaching our hands to war, O oh God, because praise is a weapon, O oh God. We'll pursue you in our praise, oh God. We'll allow for our praise, Lord, to go to the next level in you, oh God. We'll pursue the sound of heaven, oh God. No more other sounds, Lord. For in your word, you said, my sheep, they know my voice, and a stranger, they will not follow, oh God. We turn down the idol, God. We turn down the altars that are not like you, oh God. We ask that the fire of the living God begin to burn every altar that is not of God, begin to break every covenant that is not of God. We only want to come in it with you, oh God. We repent now, God, for anything that we have exalted above your name, for any person we have exalted, for anything that we have pursued outside of your will, oh God, that has called for us, oh God, to come short of your glory, oh God. We say forgive us, God, and reset us, God. We put us on the right path, Lord, of pursuing you in holiness, oh God. Anything outside of your will, Lord, that we have allowed to take your place, oh God. We tear it down now, oh God, that you will be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For you said you will not have any other God before you, oh God. So we accept 
established, Lord. Your word in its rightful place in our hearts, oh God. And we prophesy, Lord, every idol, Lord, every covenant, Lord, it is being broken, Lord. So in by the blood of Jesus, as we pursue you like never before, oh God. Give us high feet, oh God, as a deer planted for the water, oh God. Let our soul long and thirst after you, oh God. Let there be a thirst in, Lord, and a hunger, Lord, that springs up from our belly, Lord, that springs up from the depths of our soul, oh God. In the name of Jesus, every soul issue, Lord, let it go through the fire of God, that we may produce according unto your will, Lord. Here we are, your people, Lord. Here we are, your prophetic voices, Lord. Here we are, Lord, looking unto you, O oh God, diligently, Lord, building on our most holy faith, O oh God, that you will move as only you can move, that you will set free as only you can set free, Lord. We prophesy, Lord, stamina in this season, O oh God, stamina to stand on your word, stamina to obey you, O oh God. We prophesy, Lord, and we stand on your word, and we cover it with death is broken, God, because we shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, for you get no glory out of the grave, God. So we stand on your word, O oh God, that your promises are yes and amen, O oh God, and you're more than able, Lord, to do exceeding and abundantly, Lord, above all that we may ask or think, Lord, according to the power that worketh in us, O oh God. So we stand in the power of God, not any other power, not any other deception, O oh God, but the power of God that causes us, Lord, to triumph, O oh Lord. So we thank you on today, Lord, for your grace is sufficient, Lord. Your word is sufficient, O oh God. You're more than able, Lord. You're more than able, Lord. You said out of our bellies, Lord, will flow rivers of living water. We decree and declare the living waters of God. It is flowing out of us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare our mouth will praise you. Our mouth will prophesy, Lord. We'll speak those things that are sound doctrine, Lord. We'll speak those things, O oh God, that cause this shift and change, Lord, because you have ordained in such a time as this, Lord. So we thank you for grace to continue. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your word, Lord, being our very present help, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you will teach us to fear you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we shall not be desolate, Lord, because we fear you, O oh God, because we take your word, Lord, and we apply it like a salve unto our heart. We apply it like a salve unto our mind, O oh God. We take your word, Lord, and we abide in it, Lord, because you said in your word, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done, God. As we pursue you, Lord, we'll abide in your word, Lord. We'll maintain, O oh God, our faith and our trust, Lord, in your word, O oh God. We won't pray our own will, Lord, in this season of pursuit, Lord. We won't pray what we want to pray, but we pray the will of God, what you have already spoken, what you have already written in our book concerning us, O oh God, that there will be, Lord, your fulfillment, Lord, of your word, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, because your law is perfect, O oh God. It's converting our soul, Lord. The testimony of your Lord, of you, Lord, it is sure, God. It's a sure foundation, God, making us wise where we're simple, Lord. We decree and declare, O oh God, that the law of the Lord is our portion, Lord, and the converting of our soul shall be our portion, Lord. The statutes of the Lord are right, God. Rejoice in our heart, Lord, causing our heart to rejoice, causing us to be made glad, Lord. The commandment of the Lord is pure, God. There is nothing else more pure than you, O oh Lord. It causes for our eyes to be enlightened, Lord. The eyes of our understanding, Lord, shall be enlightened, O oh God, because we pursue you, Lord, and we take on your law, Lord, and your precepts, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, and your fear is clean, Lord, a reverent fear, Lord. We're not fear with anxiety, Lord. We're not fear with scanning and all over the place, Lord, but the fear of the Lord that causes us to endure, the fear of the Lord that causes there to be a reverence, the fear of the Lord that causes us to yield, God, the fear of the Lord that teaches us your discipline, that teaches us your precept, that causes wisdom, God, to be our portion, even in this season, Lord, as we pursue you, Lord, cause a greater level 
level of wisdom, Lord, to be our portion, Lord, a greater level of understanding, God. We prophesy, Lord, wisdom and understanding, Lord. It is our portion, Lord, and we hang wisdom, Lord, about our neck, God, that you will get the glory, oh God. What is it to pursue you, oh God, and have no understanding, Lord? What is it to pursue you, God, and have no wisdom, Lord? But we need wisdom, Lord, that was with you from the foundation of the world, that was with you when you created the world, God. We need your wisdom, Lord, to be our portion, oh God. We are looking unto you, oh God, because you are our help. You are our strength. You are our deliverer, Lord. You are the way maker, Lord. You are the sustainer, oh God. You are the keeper of our peace, oh God. And we have tasted of you, oh God. And we have found you to be good, God. We bless you, Lord. And we trust in you, Lord. Some trust in the horses. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in their material things. Some trust, Lord, in jobs and in homes, Lord. But we shall, the chosen, the seed of the Lord, shall trust in the name of the Lord. And through your name and through your word shall we do valiantly, God. We are believing this, Lord. This is our proclamation, God. This is our declaration, oh God. It is our inheritance, God, in the name of Jesus. Because, Lord, as we fear you, Lord, as we trust in you, Lord, you will cause for no want, Lord, to be our portion, oh God. In your holy name, oh God, you will teach us, Lord, how to fear you, oh God. You will cause us, Lord, to desire you, Lord. You will cause us, Lord, to have long days and to see good when we learn to fear the Lord in truth and in wisdom. It will keep our tongue, Lord. We prophesy, Lord, and declare that our tongue is kept, oh God, from evil, Lord, and our lips from speaking God, because we're building up the fear of the Lord that we may pursue you like never before. We depart from evil, oh God, and we do good. We seek peace, and we pursue it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your peace, Lord, saturate our atmospheres. Let your peace, God, saturate our homes. Let your peace, God, saturate our regions, oh God, that you'll get the glory, oh God, that you'll get the honor, Lord, because our eyes of the Lord, it is upon us, oh God, it is upon the righteous, oh God, and your ears, oh God, they are inclined unto our cry. You hear our cry and you hear our call, Lord, but your faith is against them, Lord, that do evil, go, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you for the pursuit of you, God. We want to pursue you in the right way. We want to pursue you in the right spirit, God. So allow for us to have a broken and a contrite heart, oh God, that we may pursue you from a place of humility, that we may pursue you from a place of boldness, that we may pursue you from a place of not giving up, that we may pursue you from a place of faith, that we may pursue you with everything that we have, God, with all that we are, oh God, because what you have created us to be is more, Lord, than what we are now. So we thank you, oh Lord, that you have caused us to have dominion, and we thank you, oh God, that your praises will rest with us, oh God, that your word will rest with us, oh God, so let the words of our mouth that the meditation of our heart, oh God, let it be acceptable in your sight as we pursue you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, just open up your mouth right, right now and just begin to uh, pray in the, in the spirit right now. Come on and join us. We want you to interact and just pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. Hallelujah. As we are pursuing God. Hallelujah. 
God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you, God, for getting up to pursue you at this time. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. God, for how you're moving in us and how, God, we understand that if we seek you, God, we shall find you. Hallelujah. As we seek you with all of our heart. And so, God, we seek you with all of our heart this morning. God, we seek you with all of who we are this morning. God, we seek you first because your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness shall be added unto us. So God, we thank you that as we seek you, that you are adding unto us. God, that as we seek you, God, that you are adding your strength. As we seek you, hallelujah, that you are adding your grace, that you are adding and increasing your faith. As we seek you, God, we thank you that we are finding you, that we find you. God, as we seek you, we thank you, God, that we are finding our purpose, that we are finding, hallelujah, that prophetic destiny, that as we seek you, God, we feel the apostolic thrust upon us. As we seek you, hallelujah, God, we thank you that you're healing our soul, that you're healing our mind, that you're healing everything from the inside out. God, as you, as we seek you, God, we thank you that you're pushing out pain and you're, re, re, you're, you're restoring to us, God, the joy of our salvation. God, as we seek you, hallelujah, as we pursue you, God, God, we thank you, hallelujah, God, that you're teaching us how to pursue you in this new dispensation, in this new time, God, that as we seek you, God, that indeed everything shall be added unto us. So, God, we come against anything that would come uh, to cause us not to be able to pursue you, God, those things that, that would cause us to idolize people, places, and things, God, that would cause us to put people, places, and things above you and above seeking and pursuing you, God, we come out of agreement with it now in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for who you are and for whose we are. God, we thank you for what you placed on the inside of us. God, we thank you for that thing, that thing, God, that wakes us up in the middle of the midnight hour, that thing that causes us to get up even at 5 a.m. to pursue you. God, we thank you, God, that even now, God, that you're causing, hallelujah, all crooked places to be made straight. God, our crooked path to be made straight as we pursue you. God, above sacrifice, as we pursue you, above circumstances, God, we seek you. God, we say, let your kingdom come. Let let your will be done in our lives. God, as it already is in heaven, God, as we pursue you, God, let the kingdom arise in us. As we pursue you, let the kingdom arise around us. God, as we pursue you, hallelujah, God, let your kingdom come in our lives. Let your kingdom come in our households. Let your kingdom come in our families. God, let your kingdom come in our prayer life. God, let your kingdom come on our jobs and let your kingdom come in our prosperity. Hallelujah. God, we say that this is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing and being glad in it. We beseech thee, O oh God. We say, save now, O oh God, and send now prosperity. God, as we pursue you, God, we thank you, God, for causing prosperity in every area of our life, for sending prosperity of our mind, for giving us settlement in the spirit, God, for causing peace, hallelujah, that surpasses all understanding, for causing a wisdom to come upon us as we seek you with all a, a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our heart, our mind, our body, our soul, our spirit, and our faith, and our faith. God, as we seek you, hallelujah. God, we say, send now prosperity to every area of our life. God, as we seek you, God, cause us to be able to walk in our prophetic destiny like never before. God, we come against depression, oppression, and the things that would cause us to go backwards instead of forward. God, the things that would cause us to not think, hallelujah, that we can move forth in purpose. God, the things that would cause us us to think that it's too late for us to be about our father's business. God, we cancel that assignment of doubt, that assignment of depression, that assignment of delay, the things that would come to get us off course. We come out of agreement, God, and we say that we will pursue you these next 30 days, God, these next 60 days, that we will be purposeful about pursuing you. So, God, everything, hallelujah, that we need to be able to pursue you, God, we say release it unto our lives today. But I bind up every spirit of distraction, everything that would cause us not to get up, everything that would cause us not to pursue you, not to pursue, hallelujah, your perfect plan and purpose for our life, the thing that would cause us to put our calling and what 
what you've called us to do on the backside and behind everything else. God, the thing that would cause us, hallelujah, not to obey you. God, we thank you for the spirit of obedience being over your people today. God, we thank you for the spirit of, of obedience being our portion today. God, wake us up. And when we wake up, God, cause obedience to be our portion. God, let us not try to debate what you've called and assigned us to do. Let us not try to debate, God, where you've assigned us and where you've sent us. God, we thank you that as sent ones, we've got to be willing to go. As sent ones, we've got to be willing to be sent. As sent ones, hallelujah, God, we got to be willing to seek you and to pursue you above our comfort zone. And so, God, we commit to pursuing you above our comfort zone this month. God, we, we commit to pursuing you, God, each and every morning to getting up and seeing, God, what you have to say, what you want us to do, how you want us to to operate. God, we come against every spirit of manipulation, every spirit of control that would cause us to be uh, got, 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 got in, in, in control uh, uh, or, or in uh, with other people, Lord God, that who are controlling our minds, our thoughts, God, because of, of relationships, God, we break free from every spirit of manipulation and everything that would cause us not to yield to you, but to yield to man above your voice, God, in our life, to yield to, 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 to those around us above what we know you called and assigned us to do. And so, God, I thank you right now for the spirit of hallelujah, a strategy coming upon your people so that we can pursue you. God, we thank you, hallelujah, that even now you're giving us stamina in the spirit to move forth in destiny, to move forth according to your perfect purpose, will, and your plan for our lives. And so, God, we thank you for our plan, the, the plan that you've given us. God, we thank you for the purpose that you've given us. God, we thank you for the reason that you placed us in our mother's womb and the reason, God, that we are yet alive while others have fallen, hallelujah, to sleep, hallelujah, God, we thank you that we are yet alive, that we are able to move forth, and because of that, God, we say do what only you can do in our life, God, cause us to have a spirit of productivity as we pursue you, God, cause us to have a spirit, hallelujah, to produce, hallelujah, at the level that you called us to produce, God, cause our, us to be able, hallelujah, to build where you caused us to be, a call us to build, where you've assigned us to build. God, cause us to be able to produce. God, cause our families to be able to produce. Let the spirit, hallelujah, of divine productivity be our portion. As we move forth, God, in this season, God, cause us to be able to see your prosperity on our life. God, that is uh, to understand that it's not just about money, but God, it's about having peaceful pro productivity, God, even in our minds. Hallelujah. God, even in our body, God, we thank you, God, that you're showing us who is for us and who is against us. But I thank you, God, for the spirit of collaboration as we begin to pursue you like never before. I thank you, God, the things that we thought we couldn't do as we collaborate, God, that, and as we pursue you, God, that you're causing those things to come forth like never before, that you're causing the manifestation of your divine purpose, plan, and will in our life on today. And so, God, we thank you for how you're moving. God, we thank you. Hallelujah for how you're speaking. God, we know, God, that even in silence, you are still speaking. And so, God, we tune into your uh, air, airwaves today. God, we tune in. Hallelujah. God, to, 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 to your airwaves. God, to, to your streams. God, we say speak like never before. Guide like never before. God, we thank you for a prophetic and apostolic flow upon our life. God, that we're really able to move forth and see your will operating in our life. God, we come against every spirit of disobedience and every spirit that would cause us not to pursue you. God, everything that would have us put off what we need to do today, thinking we have more time than we do. God, we thank you hallelujah God for causing another level of tenacity to come up on us God that we will be tenacious about what you've assigned us to do in this season that we will be tenacious God about moving forth in your purpose that we will be tenacious hallelujah about our calling that we will be tenacious God about where you've assigned us and how you want to manifest in our life that we will be tenacious hallelujah God about purpose and about where 
we are going and what we are doing for your sake, God. We understand that it's not about us, but it's about your kingdom. God, it's about your glory. It's about your manifestation in this, in the, in this earth realm. God, it's about your sons and daughters arising in the name of Jesus. And so I prophesy that you shall arise in this day. I declare and I decree that you shall be about your, 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 your father's business, that you shall pursue him and his will for you, that you shall seek him, hallelujah, above seeking houses, above seeking land, above seeking money, above seeking, hallelujah, even relationships, above seeking, hallelujah, acceptance, that you will seek him. And as you seek him, that you will walk forth in his purpose plan and in his destiny for your life, that as you seek him, hallelujah, that you shall begin to walk in another level of peace that surpasses all understanding. I prophesy a settling over your over your life today, hallelujah, that you will have the faith to move forth, and as you walk by faith and not by sight, that God will give you a settling, and that he will give you, hallelujah, peace. God, we thank you that your word says, hallelujah, that without faith it is impossible to please you. And so, God, we thank you for increasing our faith as we pursue you. God, we thank you that you're a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. So we diligently seek you. We diligently pursue you. And as we do that, God, we thank you for the reward of obedience. God, we thank you for increasing our faith, God, for causing us to understand that it's impossible, hallelujah, Hallelujah, to please you without faith. So I prophesy to your spirit, man, and I say, let faith arise in you. Let faith arise in you. Let the faith of God arise in you. I connect my faith with your faith, and I say, let that faith begin to come forth like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I say, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the lives of your people as it already is in heaven. Let it be done now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. If you agree, come on, just shout hallelujah. Just shout amen, amen, amen right where you are. I know it's I know it's quiet where some of you are, but just begin to shout amen. Begin to come into agreement with everything. Hallelujah. That God has said I agree. I agree, I agree. Come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him a praise right now. Come on, pursue him in praise. 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 Hallelujah, that you shall have a great day. I prophesy that this is going to be a great day today because you started it out pursuing God. So I say this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, O oh God, I beseech thee and sin now prosper to your people, hallelujah, to your sons and your daughters, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Again, this is Apostle Dewan Holmes uh, from Global Prophetic Life Training and Worship Embassy here in Jacksonville, Florida. I was joined also by Prophet Anita Smith, hallelujah. We thank you for her, and we thank you for each and every one of you who've joined us. We want to take the time now to remind you uh, that, that, that God told us that this is the season, the month to pursue him. You can look on YouTube, on Facebook, and uh, on our website at globalpropheticinstitute.com uh, in the daily word section to hear the word that we release on Sunday regard, regarding pursuing God. And if you've never, ever come to Prophetic Convocation, we want to uh, invite you to come and, and be with us um, the end of September, September uh, 30th through October 2nd. We want to invite you to join us. Uh, you can go to propheticconvocation.com to find out more or any of our spaces and places online. But again, God bless you. Uh, we are here uh, right now every Wednesday from 5 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we will put out a, re a replay of this so that you can enjoy it as well. But again, God bless you, and I prophesy that as you pursue God, that indeed he shall release prosperity in every area of your 
life. God bless you and uh, have a spectacular day.